It's March 18th, 2012. Four score in seven years. Just kidding. Abe Lincoln is back from the dead. He's going to prevent another civil war. Alright? I'm going to tell you everything I've learned so far, and you got to try to debunk it. But there's so much that I have to put this into separate videos. This first one will simply be a cast of characters that we're going to... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people that you're going to encounter during one of these kind of things. And, uh, oh yeah, that's really good. So, um, you get a lot of people who are fighting foreclosure or credit cards. They're looking for debt relief. And, you know, they start researching whatever they can do to try to fight it or whatever. Uh, a lot of times there's legitimate cases in which banks overextended and made some really bad loans and uh, did some things they shouldn't have did. You know, they kind of allowed no documentation. Sometimes these were people who weren't there. And then, anyway, a lot of innocent people were getting bills for dollar amounts that was never lent to them by a bank. And this is out and this kind of stuff, this whole uh, financial conspiracy thing, this is out in the open. You can go see all sorts of stuff about this. This is real. But it's too easy to call it a conspiracy because the market is everybody and everybody's acting in their own self-interest. You have a lot of the big players at the top fighting each other. I'm, I'm basically quoting uh, this other guy um, who I listen to a lot. Um, he sounds like he's had some experience with um, the way some rich people think. He has a lot of good insight. But anyway, the banks did some things that they shouldn't have done. Uh, some of these people are trying to get out of something that they should pay, but a lot of these people were never loaned any money, and, oh man, that's a whole other thing. I'm going to have to make a video just on that by itself. I'm going to have to put a star next to that. i got to explain this whole thing right here. Okay, there's uh, a bunch of people in the prison system that are looking for some kind of escape. Maybe it's, uh, they get pulled over too many times, maybe they have DUIs and they gotta get out of it. Um, maybe they kill somebody, who knows? I mean, there's, uh, there could be people, uh, criminals who could be honest people, and maybe, uh, they have a legitimate reason to be looking for weird stuff that could possibly, you know, get them out of it. So, you know, this, uh, so you're starting to see how this sovereign citizens thing can appeal to, um, alright, so we got, you know, two huge groups already. There might be some overlap between both of these, but, um, so with the prison system, we gotta look into, um, there's all this mess about bonds, right? And, um, You know, they're holding you in a cell. They're holding cargo. And, uh, you know, you got your number. Uh, this is a whole nother video we're gonna have to make explaining exactly how that whole thing works. There's no, like, real... Con uh, this is... It's a, um... It's a result of an underlying thing, uh, how do I explain this? Get to it later. You run into a lot of scam artists who are looking for a profit. These guys are, um, opportunists, as they say, and a lot of them tell you to look out for opportunities, opportunists, but they are opportunists. Am I an opportunist? I don't know. I, do, I don't run, um, ads. No ads until I get about 80 views. This is so all my subscribers can pretty much see my videos for ad free. Um, what am I doing? I'm trying to defend myself for not being a scam artist. What, what, what am I doing? Anyway, um, 
I've run into a lot of these scam artists, and I've almost given some of them some of the money. They run around doing, um, PowerPoints, similar to the one I'm doing now, but as we draw towards the end, you're going to realize that you have never seen anything like this before. None of these guys have ever said what I'm going to uh, arrive to through this series of videos. You run into a lot of patriots. You get people talking about the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, the Articles of Confederation. They even talk about um, Magna Carta. You gotta look into this thing. So the idea is, uh, when we got off the English rule, our, uh, common law was to be kind of based on, um, where we came from, and, uh, anything that's not in the Constitution, you should assume that it's in the Magna Carta, or something like that. That's a whole thing. It's a whole nother thing. So... That these patriots, I like these patriots, um, I, I mean, I mean that, they, they uh, all have great hearts, and they point out some really interesting things, you know, they, it's usually like, you talk about what America was intended to be, and why this was a great country, and why you were told and made to believe that it still is a great country, but look at where we are now, you know, like, uh, so you get two different, you get two different kinds of people here, you get conservatives who want to roll back the shit because that's good because we're in a mess right now and we're like hey wait a second we gotta get back to over here so we can go that way you know but we can still keep uh, freeing black people and giving women jobs those two things are very important and um, so anyway uh, but you also get progressives who um you know, you're, you're continuing dealing the same shit, but you're just like, you know what, now we're gonna deal, you know, ooh, wait a second, we should be, you know, I mean, like, every day's a new day, you know, like, sure, the founding documents say this and that, but, you know, why don't we just pass a law that makes this blah blah blah, you know, it's good for the people, it's different times, you know, so you gotta read the Federalist Papers, because those were what the guys who wrote the Constitution really intended. It's just a bunch of like, uh, that's a whole nother thing. I'm really gonna have to make a video about each of these. I'm gonna have to make a video about the Patriots and how they're, they're so far back from, you know, we're so far from where we get that whole thing. I gotta dig into the Constitution and everything I learned about that and the Bill of Rights and the Articles and the Declaration and the Magna Carta and, um, Patriots do really unorthodox things when you compare them to a normal citizen. Very weird stuff to someone who's never seen it before. And then, you know, like, you can see, like, really high-level military officials or Supreme Court judges understanding this uh, presumably better than I do. But I have done at least 999 hours of research on this topic, and I can assure you that I know more about this than anyone else out there who's making videos about it. Just give me some time. It's going to take a couple of hours. I'm going to have to make videos about all this stuff. And in the end, I'm going to bring you to the way I see it now. And I'm going to prevent an inevitable... Um, See, I, I'm, I'm able and can write like it's. Uh, I'm still trying to uh, adjust to the modern society. I don't really fit in very well. So, um, excuse me if I seem a little distracted. There's bills to pay. Yeah, there's a time upon us. Wait, that says BBB. That doesn't work. Yeah, at least I tried. There's going to be a conflict. This conflict is going to be between what kind of patriot are you?
they're going to be viewing them as being on this side. But they are going to view themselves as in, this is the way it is. Get back to reality, people. And they're going to be looking at them like a bunch of nuts. Loonies. Terrorists. I'm going to prevent this from happening. So when the time comes for you to take sides, you're going to know that you don't have to. Actually, this whole conflict is going to be prevented in the first place by this stuff getting out into the open. The way I see it, uh, is I'm, I'm going to cut through, um... Okay, not piping it up, i got to get through the video, there's so much to watch here. You're also going to run into a lot of religious extremists. And... You're asking the wrong guy to try to explain their motivations. They have a... Uh, but I did read a lot about the Bible because of it. I read Revelations, I read, uh, I learned a lot of stuff about what was happening with... Uh, there's this v great video, uh, Why I'm No Longer a Christian, you gotta watch that, because there's a really good history bit in there. But anyway, uh, religion is an important thing to look at because... It is, it was a clever tool used to control the masses, and nowadays the Illuminati, is, through the mass media brainwashing, has pulled us towards the wills of Satan. I know that sounds really ridiculous, but just listen to the lyrics of any popular song right now, and think, uh, you know, is that a good thing to teach your child? And then imagine, you know, I see I'm starting to sound like a hippie. Let's begin hippies. You're going to run into a lot of law school dropouts when studying this garbage. No, for real. Um, there's uh, all this legal jargon involved, and like all, pretty much everything. Like it really. Uh, it, the thing that they find, uh, the thing they don't like about these loonies, these terrorists. Is that they have no regard for the rules of civil procedure, the rules of criminal procedure, procedure, maybe it's the procedure of whatever. I gotta look that up again. Anyway, there's a whole video I gotta make you about the legal stuff. Because, well, I don't want to put the legal stuff too close to the beginning because a lot of people will think that's boring and they'll never watch the whole video. But throughout all this other stuff, when you there's a little bit of an introduction to that and a dead relief thing. But through all these other things, you're thinking about the legal stuff and you're like, how could this work? They're obviously crazy, you know. But when you get to the law school dropouts, the way they combine their view of looking at these things with the Patriots, but there's a lot of scam artists mixed in there too. You can't trust all the law school dropouts. A lot of these documents that they want you to submit to courts and judges and sheriffs, that stuff is going to have the FBI at your door in seconds. You have no chance. You've got to triple check. You, you, you shouldn't even be sending them anything. Like, like, never sign anything and send it to an official and put your blood on it unless you know exactly what it means. I'm going to have to make a whole video about that. I'm not going to make a video about religious extremists. There's so much information out there that, and I, it's, it's such a, to me, out of all of these characters, they're like, the least significant ones to um, my uh, what I'm getting out of all this stuff, but there is some good stuff about how the Bible. I guess I'll throw it in along the way, but I want to turn some other people off. 
that's another thing, you know, like, you're gonna have, uh, when you have this conflict between, uh, you know, whether you view the two sides like this, or whether you view the two sides like this, no matter which way you're perceiving the conflict, that's why it's gonna be such a shitty war, because they're, they're, nobody's gonna barely even know why they're fighting, and that's why Abe Lincoln has to come out right now and tell everybody what's going on. It has nothing to do with that. Why is this like the symbol that I keep focusing back on? Actually, okay. Anyway, back to the cast of characters. This is the first video. All I'm doing is showing you the cast of characters. So we got the foreclosure on credit card victims and their relief the people who've been in prison system, the scam artists in there with the patriots and the religious extremists and the law school dropouts, and just for cohesion, the context to put it all together. You know, a lot of people keep, a lot of people are learning about very different things, and when they find out about the Illuminati, oh, it all makes sense now, I get it, it's on the dollar. Oh, okay, well, I don't want to downplay it like that, um, but yeah, of course, I'm going to have to make a video about that. I can't believe I'm doing this, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Don't worry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have the FBI show up my door, they know that this is something that they use to distract you. It's true. I, I, I know most of you are going to flame me for this, but let me get through all this. I'm going to be able, when, when I'm answering this question, in the end, you're going to understand. Okay, that's my cast of characters. Uh, thank you for watching. Please watch the next video. Thank you.